The human brain is quite similar to a dog turd, which is why evaluating new magic cards is really difficult for all of us. Take, for example, Flame of the Noor. Everyone in the grandma says this card is unplayable. With a price of a foil floor this low, it's gotta be a bulk card, right? This might just be my dog turd brain talking, but isn't this super good? For three mana, we can draw two cards, destroy an artifact, deal five damage. If we control wizard when we cast this, we get to do two of these. For removal plus drawing two cards is a three for one. Everyone is saying this card is unplayable because there's no good wizards in modern. Uh, um, what? Magus of the Moon and Forge Thunder are both wizards. Well, we'll make things even easier. Mutavolt is all creature types, which means we can animate it. Play Flame of an Ore. And even if Mutavolt dies, we still choose two modes. But the real dick slap comes from Spell Setter Sprites. For two mana, it's a one more fairy with Flash. And when it enters, we get a counter a spell. If its mana value is less than equal number of fairies control. And because Mutavolt is all creature types, it's also a fairy, which means we can counter bigger things. And Spell Setter Sprite is also a wizard, as is the fairy Vendillion Click. Both of these fairies used to be super iconic. Vendillion Click was so popular that at one point, it was $75, and it's still pretty good. When it enters, we look at opponent's hand. We can choose a card from them in the bottom, but they do get to draw a card. We can also target ourselves, which is pretty gangster. Another iconic wizard, Snapcaster Mage, because recasting Flame Manor is pretty good. Some other spells we might want to flash back. Lightning Bolt, Counter Spell, Spell Pierce for more counter, Consider for card draw, and the new Sword of Scolding, which for a measly one mana, counters target creature spell with power to us for less. It's a whole lot better than it looks. Most creatures in modern do stuff when they enter, and are really good at dodging removal. So countering these creatures before they enter is very convenient for more counter to force negation, which we can cast for free if we exile blue cards. Lastly, for subtlety, along as to send back a creature spell, every single card in our main deck can be played at instant speed. Which reminds me, we have Brazen Borrower. Not a wizard, but it is a fairy, allowing us to balance a permanent. And now for sideboard, we have the wizard force tender, with protection from red, that can prevent damage from red source. And then Magus, also a wizard. There's more spell hate, permanent hate, creatures entering unfairly hate, and the new card cast on the fire. We can either ping two creatures or exile an artifact. That is the deck now it's time to go clap some butt cheeks. Be sure to subscribe more content like this. And without further ado, here's the gameplay and I hope you enjoy. Opening hands acceptable will keep. Oh, upon ramps with Razor. So they're an amulet deck. Flame for us. Come on, play a creature here. Oh, Azusa. Summer's holding. How devastating for our opponent. Land meh. We'll pass. Let's throw it as our opponent. Bummer. And then it's holding. After our opponent's drawn. Then do click. Let's see what's in their hand. Ooh, right in the butt cheeks. No Titan for them. So they pass out of sadness. Which was playing. Upon chomps. And we'll pass. Oh, the saga. That's annoying. We flash and borrower here. Here, or wait to balance the token. The tokens aren't much of a threat, so we'll flash and borrower. Consider. We'll fire that now. Oh, subtlety, yes. Swing for six. Then we'll pass. Player stronghold for them. And we'll say no subtlety here. Well, we'll take it. Swing for six. Upon goes to eight. And they win this turn. Two constructs for them. And they grab expedition map. They crack it. For cavern good for them. They try for grazer, but subtlety. And in the face of crippling depression, our opponent concedes. Going into game two is running this for a second two. Open a hand a lot of lands. Oh, do we have magus or a heap? There's amulets. Counter spell nice. Oh, Microsoft Gardens. So we can copy amulets. Another Magus. We'll pass. We try for Dryad, but counter. And if I for us, perfect. Island number two. And now Magus. So much for Gardens. Oh, and they have a second. No! Remember. And now the Gardens are back online. But luckily for us, we second Magus. And they choose not to copy amulets. Oh, and double forest. And Summoner's Pact. Finding Thron, no oh boy. We can't target it. And it has Indestructible on their turn. Peace problem. Another Magus. We'll play and pass. They pay the fourth of summoner's pact, and they're swinging. Sure. They're tempting the bolt here, but I suppose we can wait. Consider sure. We'll hold it for now. This for and pass. I want to keep swinging. And dang, here comes Titan. We'll consider. Titan hits, but tragically for opponents. We'll deal five and draw two, and then bolt. Town pass are not bad. This for four. A second amulet. A grazer. I want to swings. We'll graciously take it. But now oopsie poopsie for opponents. Town caster. Flashback flame. Drawing to and killing grazer. The throne is a problem here. Because we can't bounce with Lord Alara, but we could just chump it. This before. Oh, and Summoner's Pact. Digging for the dinosaur that can't be countered. And it has haste and ward four. That's pretty good. Oh, it's healthy. And our opponent exclaims, stay away from our stinky hole. What a fantastic start for us. And now it's on the next banking. Opening hand, no lands for an after mole. And this be a little stinky. But we'll keep. Land perfect. Oh, and it's a living end deck. We'll have to clench. They cycle two more creatures. Summon passes. We'll bolt. And it's holding meh. Not great against living end. I'll come dig some more. And cycle some more. And even more. Opponent passes again. Bolt. And Sprite, not bad. But a third land would have been better. More digging. And more. Yikes, opponent passes. No, a lot of land. Opponent passes again. And there's a land. A class and borrower. Do we want to counter? That's super risky. I think the better option. Salty. And a bottom borrower. No, grief. 
I don't think we need certain scolding. All right, they can have their grief. Taking this right. But then they pass. Interesting. Oh, the best right cross. Someone passes. And our up keeps to go for it. Attempt to counter. That works. You know, land perfect. Here comes another living end. Try to counter there. But they counter our counter. That's a nut load of creatures. And yep, they have us. Game two it is. One game two is working on this for us, I think, too. Opening hand is fine, but not fantastic. I suppose it's keepable. Michael Bolt. And another land. And the cycling begins. I want to shock some passes. We'll play out Soundcaster. And of course, perfect. Number two. Two more cyclers. After they've drawn Vendillion. Oh, the cycle. And this could be a problem. Especially like Grief. They do have two living in a second hand. So the fourth star is pretty dangerous. We'll have to take Grief. Dang, what a top deck. That's the downside of Vendillion click. We'll have to force. We're so close. Swing for five. And there's a concede. So we'll have to sell things game three. Opening hand, a bit of a nut of stinky. We do have Sprite though. So we'll keep. Consider nice. And surprise, they cycle. And cycle some more. But then they pass. We'll do a consider. So here's we'll take it. Another consider. The cycling continues. And what? They shock and pass? That's bizarre. Because they can't use violent outbursts without any red. So it's probably just recycling. We'll dig. For that in graveyard. I know this all here's for us. And it lands. We shall pass. And they flash in borrower. That's fine for now. Oh, they shock. They might just have grief here. But no, they pass. Alright, we'll bolt. And hold moonlight. That's pretty good. We'll pass again. And opponent passes again. What? They might just start hard casting stuff. That would be a problem. Oh boy, a land. We'll have to pass. Opponent passes. What is this madness? More lands. Yikes. All right, we'll pass. And they suspend living in. They're that desperate. So we just flash in the sprite. I guess. Another moonlight. And this be a bit risky. So we'll swing up Mutaball to try and move things along. Oh, the shock. And here it comes. We'll spell pierce that. That worked. Do they have another? Indeed they do. Now the question is, do we play sprite first or moonlight? Moonlight's probably better. And we can't play two on the same turn. Although we will lose sprite. We'll try Moonlight. And it worked. What? Interesting. We'll bolt. I let surf. I mean, you bolt. Swing. Opponent cycles, really? Why not just hard cast it? Maybe because their suspended living end comes back next turn? Interesting. We'll draw. Flint's not bad. And another. Swing me to vault. Opponent goes one. Here comes living end, but play Sprite. Sprite hits. And dang, there's a concede. Even if opponent hard casted these cards, Flame of Minora would have taken them out. So the spanking train continues. And now it's on the next one. Opening hand seems keepable. We'll keep. Bolt for us. We'll shock and pass. Opponent pass. Passes. We'll go for a bolt. And land perfect. Opponent passes, but snap pass her. Oh, opponent tries to counter. We'll spell pierce. So that does mean no bolt for us. Vendillion, nice. Number two. And then we'll pass. Opponent passes. We'll go with Vendillion. But opponent counters. Another land. We'll take it. Number two and pass. Oh, opponent passes. Do we play subtlety? I suppose. They counter. Another click. We'll swing. And do we play this now? I think so. Very risky. Let's check out their hand. Oh, that is a tough one. They don't have any red. But if I get red, we're clapped. Especially with fire to spray for one each. There is Narset. I could dig for a white card, but we might just want to let him keep his hand. Maybe Narset's too risky. We'll take Narset and pray no red. Oh, my God, I can own Narset. And everyone concedes. Because we're going to put them at one on our turn. Going in game to strike for fortune. Or that's going to two. Oh, when hand's okay, we'll keep. And that's right. So when it passes, we'll dig. Land sure. Oh, and they try and tap on our land. This feels pretty stinky. We'll flash in Sprite as a 1 1. Enabling an aura on our turn. And Chalice on 1. Okay. Do we flame now? Oh, I think we might want to. We'll swing for one. And swing time. Team you all for us. On a Texas for a triumph. And play Scary to Fairy. Bouncing Sprite. So much for counter stuff. We'll put out Mutabolt and play Click. Oh, Solacy, really? Too bad we can't Solacy. But we put Vendillion on top. I suppose. We'll replay it. The time it hits. It's very unfortunate. We want to swing with Mutabolt here. We'll ask you to take Fire and Ice for Solitude. We'll play Fire and Ice. And Mutabolt. Go after the Fairy. And Solitude comes out to play. That's fine, I suppose. We want to And play ZCJs. Bouncing click? Interesting. We'll play Snapcaster. Well, if I consider it less good. Well, we do have the fairy still. Maybe not so good. We'll yard it. Take out Jace. And we'll pass. Here comes Nasty Narset. Sending Drift Town. Interesting. Force Tender. This be super tricky. We'll go after the fairy. Because he's more scary. Dress Town for opponent. Who is the fairy? And we'll pass. Oh, digs. Finds another Dress Town. Vendillion? Dress Town, sure. Oh, with fire. That's pretty brutal. Oh, Snapcaster. That's pretty good. I say we pass. Although we still have Vito in hand. This feels sanky. We'll play Snap Caster. Narset's annoying. So it comes to draw one card. So they counter that. No, okay. Another four tender. So like an Narset. Removal. Oof. This be super risky. Animate Mute Vault. Flashing Sprite. Wandering Emperor. So let's come to this. Eggs on Mute Vault. So the Snap Caster. We'll bolt Emperor. And play four tender and pass. Another Narset. They whiff. And put Krusty here in hand. Another chance. So get nasty. And pass. They try for Krusty K. We'll try for subtlety. No Krusty K for them. And they bottom it. Interesting. The one passes. Swing out. They try for Emperor. But 
that. So up here. And with the source Kush ever, there's a concede. So the spankings continue. And that's on the next one. Opening hand seems okay, we'll keep. Oh, there's a prowess deck. This could be a problem. A bolt nice. Do we bolt now? I think we have to. That works. Upon digs. And then passes, what? Very suspicious. They pass again? Is this a special Olympics? It couldn't be, because no one's laughing. Oh, they are playing with an ore. Do we want them drawing two cards? I suppose not, we'll counter. Upon the CCJ in hand and passes. Right, nice. They try for Soul Scar. Do we turn a skull? Holding that or sprite. I say some scolding. That worked. Oof, the opponent passes. Land will take it. And it'll pass. Another one. This time we'll try for salty. That worked. Full scar goes back on top. And bolster. Another storm scolding. The clapping is very strong here. Storm scolding. Our opponent must be devastated. Might as well draw. Another sprite. This feels stinky, but we'll play it. And another land. We'll swing. Do we shock? That's probably too risky. We'll play it half and pass. The opponent shocks. Oh, plays a GCJ. It's a bad day for GCJ. Playing with for five. Oh, but growth. Oh, we should have shocked in the same vents. No. Bolt. Well, we can't finish it off because we only have an island. Oh, but a bolt. 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 So for one, we'll pass. Opponent draws out sadness. Tries to take a federation, but it's right. Opponent tries for removal, but can it make me to vault? So no federation for them. We have trust. Swing. And we'll pass. Opponent passes out of sadness. And force a negation. So for three, they try for bolt, but another sprite. So no bolt for them. Oh, but they do have another bolt. That's fine. But not as fine as my sister. Opponent passes. Oh, but lava shards. I can take out both of our dudes. If they flash it back from graveyard, so we might want to counter here to save one of them. Yeah, we'll counter. Oh, that's right. How silly of me. Lava shard goes to exile. Because force negation exiles. Well, that worked out nicely. More land. Eh. Took over two. And send it back. Opponent draws to a flame. Play a storm chaser mage. Do we want to kill it with counter or flame? Counter safer. And it's tempting to draw two here. Full weight. Oh, it's that passer. Put them at one. Monastery for opponent. We shall allow it. And why? Well, they swing. Oh, and lava shards. That card is very good against us. Flash and Southcaster. And oh, there's a concede. No one gonna kill us from the first time too. Opening hand, no blue soul mole. And this is somewhat better. We'll keep. They give us a scar mage. A bolt. Bobble for them. And they pass. Another consider. We should pass. Iteration. Try for consider. Plan do. Another Southcaster. Another consider. And there's Paul Pierce. And I'll keep on top. And opponent passes. Play with or nice. And opponent passes. What? Flash and snap. Getting back consider. Explosive, sure. And you're also with an or. And land nice. Number two. And pass back. Storm chaser mage. Sure. The opponent swings. We'll say big hawks and blocks. And what is the best move here? They could flame with an or. That's probably the best move, but they could pump out of range. Or could use snap passer and flashback bolt, but most certainly dodge it. So flame it is. Field five. Oh, we try for self pierce. Self pierce or self pierce. Oh, what mutagenic growth. Okay. We still get the card draw. And another flame with an or. Oh my. Are we that evil? Probably. Number two. And a flame for you. That worked. We'll hold scolding a pass. Soul scar. But turn scolding. Very tragic for opponent. And another one for us. Flame for two. Play for Shender. And so far, no lava shards. Oh, snap passer for them. How will we play ours? And there's a concede. Oh my gosh, we are clapping ass cheeks. I don't want to jinx it though. Even though, look at all these two O's, only one game loss. And now it's off the finals. Opening hand, five lands for an the mole. And no red. Oh, we'll try it. Opponent moles of five. Oh, and they're a landless sack. How much you're saying? Consider. Throw this in graveyard. And bolt me. Another consider, okay. We'll pass. Oh, pass. Talisman. That's fine. We'll dig. Finding a land. And a million click. That's pretty good. Opponent tries to inform her, but someone's holding. So no combo for them. Oh, what on earth to try and reanimate? Counter a sprite. Land for us. Click for one. And after opponent's drawn. A million click. Oh, and this is a big problem. But two spies. They can mill their entire deck no matter what. This is gonna hurt. Four creeping chills. And with three sword of the meek. They can get back Titan and cast it. They bring back engines. Darn, it was going so well. But game two it is. Four games two is from the sword two. Opening hand, not good enough, we'll mole. And yeah, this could be good. We'll keep. Salty, sure. Talisman. We'll swap for stats. Oh, and a fetch. Well, we still probably want to wait for Magus. Until we have two blue. So we'll pass. A pawn plays sword? Okay. And passes. Oh, not a land. And a pawn goes for it. We'll counter. Counter works. And there's an island. Very risky, but we could Magus here. With both force and salty. We'll go for it. But they do run pack and negation. So one counter might not be enough. There's Charbel, sure. We'll need a counter. Do they have pack negation? No. Land. Ew. Number two. Uh oh, talisman. So they can make black now. And another land. Number two. And what creeping shell? They drain us for three, sure. One card in their hand. So there's holding perfect. Number two. And there's spy. Well, we'll say bye bye. Spy goes back on top. We're so close to the 5 0. So our opponent four. They try for spy again, but. Going. And we take game two. Going into game three. Swing back in this for this one. Asking three. Opening hand. A lot of lands. So we do have Magus. So we'll keep.
leave. Daddy's probably gonna regret this. Oh, they're down to three cards. Daddy's getting very nervous. Come on, Daddy, just think about the boobers. Oh, the house went, oh no. Oh, it's all falling apart. And when it does, you're gonna have to go back to sucking dick for a living. But at least we get good tips. Con passes. And then like, darn. Not great with Magus. We'll shock and pass. Oh, it's half out for creeping chill. What? Why have they paid three life? Unless they actually have something in hand of their bluffing. Still here's not bad. Two cards in hand. Is it worth playing Magus here? We'll still have one open, but they could have hack and negation. But with two things here, perhaps it's worth the risk. Darn, I'm gonna regret this. Magus, and we'll pass. There's Informer. Turn us golding. I knew it. Oh, no. Darn it, why did I play Magus? If it weren't for the Magus, we probably would've won it. But we just needed a threat out, though. And taking out borrowers and the sprites. I wasn't sure if we'd ever get a threat out. And more turns, more card ball for them. Oopsie poopsies. Well, the deck performed spectacularly. Unlike someone I know that thought it would be a good idea to play Magus. Someone who has to go back to sucking dick for money. But at least the deck was good. And this might be the birth of a brand new archetype. Well, let me know what you big boys think of the deck and how we can improve it. Off I go sucking. And until next time, stay to me thick.